Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Yeah, processing, but I, I get it. So you, you mentioned the idea of like um, Allah being the most just. And then I remember as I was reading, it was saying like, you know, my interpretation of what being like um, just and fair is doesn't matter. Um, or at least it doesn't. Or maybe I can't always grasp the idea of um, like a, like what's just. Um, and you guys let me know if I'm like misquoting. But uh, I, I feel like that was something um, I grabbed that I was going through. And then I was reading the idea of... Um, so in verse, no, chapter two, verse 155, it says, we will certainly touch you with some fear and hunger and some loss of possessions and lives and crops. And then, yeah, the, the idea of, uh, yeah, the idea of just what is just and what isn't just was also something um, I ran into because then my first thought was like, you know, why is there not another test is there? Can you not test my faith in like a way that doesn't like result in like hunger or death or anything of that nature? Like is there, uh, but then I know, before I read that, it then told me, like, you know what? Just because you can't wrap your mind about it being just doesn't mean it's not just. It's just not just to you. And then that was one that sent me in, like, a, because then I was like, you know, I don't, then I don't know what my answer is. And, like, how do I feel? Well, I think, I think right here, when you're referring to that particular ayah, it's not about justice. It's about the test that Allah's going to test you with. That, that's a different thing. No, my question is, like, is the test, like, just, like, is, is do I believe this is, like, a fair test, or do I believe, like, this is a... Do you, when you, when, do you, have you, you've been to school, right? Mm -hmm. Right? So when your teachers test you on material that they've taught you... I right? guess you think they're someone fair to... <laughs> right? However, your ability to pass these tests is purely... Uh, subjective, you know, it's subjective to how much you studied, uh, how many questions you asked your teacher, these type of things, right? But um, there's an entire system behind that test. It's not just your teacher coming together to write a test. They have other teachers who are teaching the same subjects, who are, who are testing other students in different classes. And basically, they are using a subjective type of system in order to test your knowledge of material that you've been taught, you understand? So who has more right to know whether or not the test for you is fair or not? Your your teacher or the one who created your teacher? You understand? Mm -hmm. So yeah, just, um, yeah, that, that's what I said. I, I, I guess I, I understood that portion because like I said, it directly, if there's anything I can say so far in my reading is there's definitely always an answer. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, if it tells you this, there's always going to be an explanation for it. Um, so that my, I guess, personal like gripe or what I'm trying to like understand now is like whether or not you accept that answer. And I guess that's something that Issa went to as well. Like, you know, mm -hmm. the message is there. Now it's all like, are you going to take it or are you not going to take it? Mm -hmm. And I guess that is, yeah, something I've like been having that issue with. So like I said, it, it gave me this and then it told me, you know what, this is the reason why if you don't understand it, it's not meant for you to understand just know that just is what it is. Mm -hmm. And like I said, that was just a, a, a harder one for me to grasp. And like, it might take time. And sometimes there is no, like, you can do all the readings in the world, but sometimes it just takes, like, literal mm -hmm. actual time. And you have mm -hmm. to, like, go through that. And I'm learning to try to acknowledge that and try to work through that and, like, my idea of, like... Well, you see, you see the, the Quran itself, it was revealed to human beings, all of mankind, as a guidance, you know, as a criterion of how to worship Allah and the the do's and basically the do's and don'ts of what worshiping Allah is, why you are here, what the purpose of life is. This is what the Quran was sent for. You feel me? And likewise, when you're in certain high level classes whatever whatever school you're going to once you get into uh university whatever you you it take you go through levels you know so for example i'm i'm pretty good at math right 
And your teacher might give you certain formulas and, you, and they tell you to plug in this formula. You might not understand the whole history of why this formula works. You just know it works. You understand? So you, when you plug in the formula, you know that this formula, it works. You don't understand the the who authored the formula, who was the one who did all the years of experimentation to come up with this formula. How did they come up with this form? You don't understand any of that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. You just know that these algebraic numbers put in this sequence, when you plug it in here, the answer comes out right. The Quran, when you apply the Quran, your life comes out right. You understand? It's the playbook for making your life right and correct. And the answers that you need are in the Quran, right? They're already there, the answers that you absolutely need, the things that are nece necessary for you to know. The things that are not necessary for you to know, ju just because you don't know these, if they weren't revealed to you, it wasn't important for you to, to understand. It was important for you just to apply the principle. You understand? Not here. <laughs>